Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jared J. Wallen, MD, board certified urologic surgeon and men's sexual health specialist, coming to you live from sunny Sarasota, Florida. You and we, urologic surgery and wellness. Today, I'm talking with one of my patients about the Resume system. The Resume system, if you don't know, is a steam treatment to the inside of the prostate channel, as you can see here, where a little needle is guided by your surgeon, me into the prostate channel and delivers a little bit of steam to the tissue. One of the most common problems as men get older, in fact, upwards of 50% of men over the age of 40 may have some urination symptoms due to the prostate is BPH. And that causes things like urgency, frequency, nighttime urination, dribbling, incontinence or leakage. Uh, sometimes it gets extreme to where you have to have a catheter all these types of symptoms can be from an enlarged prostate, and, and ultimately that causes you to have trouble voiding as a male. So this treatment delivers steam to the inside channel again, as you can see here, and ultimately after a period of a few weeks afterwards, that steam basically, after it kills off the tissue, your body's normal processes eliminate that dead tissue and your channel becomes wider and it allows you to pee much easier. So I have with me again, Mr. Jason Horvath. He is a patient who is now approximately three years out or maybe a little bit over uh, from his treatments. And I'll just let him talk to you about what was going on before he had resume treatment to the prostate. Uh, my age started in 2017. It was around the end of August, beginning of September. I kind of had symptoms before that, but I kind of blew them off. Kind of like, ah, you know, it's no big deal. You know, the typical man thing where you kind of, you can fend it off. Uh, but then I ended up in the hospital and I actually, what happened was I fainted. I had dehydration. So kind of, which kind of later on goes hand in hand, which is kind of a blessing what happened. So they found a kidney infection, stayed overnight, gave me some medicine, got me out, uh, went home. Every day thought it was just a simple kidney infection cleared up. About two months later, around Thanksgiving, I ended up back in the hospital with real sharp pains on my side. Like someone was jabbing me with a needle. Uh, turns out I had another kidney infection. I ended up in Tampa General overnight for a second time. Then, uh, luckily, I found Dr. Wallen had sent a business card to my mom's house. I'd been staying with her for a little bit. So I got in to see him. And within maybe, I'd probably say 10 minutes at the most, you knew exactly what was wrong with me. What doctors couldn't do two months earlier, you knew in 10 minutes. Went over everything. Decided what the best course was, which one of the options was the resume, and it was so new and it was the least evasive. So I was all on board for that. So we did that. So we decided on that. The following week, I came back. We did the uh, scope to make sure everything was okay up there. And then the following week, we actually did the procedure and did the surgery, which was a simple 15 minute in and out in surgery process, which was kind of nice because you're not in the hospital, you're not having to go through uh, anesthesia. You know, you know, staying the night, you get to go home, which was just ended up turning out to be a blessing in disguise. Right. So that's the beauty of Resume is that, you know, most treatments for enlarged prostate used to be surgical procedures in the hospital or surgery center. Uh, Resume is one of two procedures that can be performed in the office. You know, the beauty of it is, you know, it's it's nine second treatments up to 15 total treatments uh, along the inside of the prostate channel. And then ultimately you get to go home. Now, you know, just because you don't go to sleep in general anesthesia doesn't mean we are cruel to you and, and punish you. We certainly do give you an oral sedative. Sometimes it's offered with nitrous oxide therapy to basically laughing gas like, like at the dentist to put you to sleep. And we also numb the area of the prostate as well to help make it easier on our patients. Our goal is always to get you better in the easiest way possible, gentlest way possible on you. And so, you know, ultimately, uh, patients have done very well with this. You know, the resume treatment system, the research data on that has been, you know, matured for five years now. There's a very, very low 4.4% retreatment rate from a, from a surgical standpoint, having to have another procedure done, whether it's resume or something else afterwards. And about 10% of guys will start medications afterwards at some point along the continuum of five years. Now, beyond five years, the, the research is still ongoing. And so, you know, we're still waiting on the results, how, how will people do beyond that? But for a, a short procedure, again, Mr. Horvath said less than 15 minutes in the office, you know, ultimately for a short procedure lasting five years or better, and also allowing you to stop medications like Flomax that you may be on for the same problem, you know, that's, that's a pretty significant uh, treatment outcome for a patient. So 
you know, why don't you talk to us about the actual procedure itself, what it felt like, what happened on the day of, and and kind of what talk us through that part of it. Well, that that was the, that's the beauty of it. Is you, they basically you spend more time like wait getting there early to wait to because and in my case we did the volume thing where it actually like relax the muscles and stuff. So you spend more time in there before the process the surgery or or procedure, kind of getting to a, a point, and then you're in and out of there. And the really the what it felt like to me when I was having the procedure, it just felt like someone taking like a needle and just kind of poking, like if you got a shot in your arm, kind of the same. Kind of the same kind of feeling. It's it's not really like oh my gosh you're gonna you're gonna scream you're gonna it's gonna be painful you have to you're gonna have to grit it and bear it. It's not. It's it's really relatively very simple procedure. You spend your brain will take over more of getting stressed out and freaked out about what's gonna happen than actually what does happen. You spend more time getting stressed than you do actually getting the procedure done. And it, right. it's so easy. It's I mean it's honestly after all the stuff I went through. And the catheters I had to have in and out, I would take that procedure over getting a catheter every day. Right. And so your 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 BPH, your enlarged prostate got severe enough that you had to have a catheter for a short period of time before the procedure. You know, that that's a little bit more on the extreme side. And obviously you had had a couple of fec- infections, which, you know, even infections in the male patient are actually pretty abnormal. You know, even if a male patient has one infection, then we start to kind of wonder what may be going on underlying this that could be causing that compared to the female patient where infections are much more common, you know, even up to three infections a year in a female patient may be normal in a male patient, you know, you start having infections or having to have a catheter placed or having bladder stones or, or any of these types of things. Those are all warning signs that there could be dysfunction going on in the emptying or, or the prostate or, or what have you, the emptying of the bladder that is. And so, you know, obviously again, Short procedure, very tolerable. We certainly help you with medications and and local numbing area of medications as well to help make it easier on you. And then, so let's talk about the recovery since then. How how have things been going? I mean, it's been you know, a little bit over three years now. Uh, you know, talk us through how things have been going as far as that. I mean, uh, how's how's life going for you? Oh, it's nice. To, it's nice to be back to normal. I mean, it's. During that whole process, and it was anything but normal. I would basically like I knew that I there was something going on, and I just couldn't figure out what it was. And like you're talking about, you know, like now we're understanding that hey, you know, if you get one infection, that's a big red flag. But when I was going through it, and this is 2017, my doctors that I was at the emergency room didn't even think twice about it. it wasn't even a thought about it. It was only the second time I went back in the emergency room that they said, hey, maybe we need to get you to urologist. So it's kind of nice to see where it's gone from something that's been swept under the rug to where actually now, like, it's on the forefront. We're like, hey, this needs to be addressed right away. And kind of just to give you a little bit of perspective, I'm growing up, there was at one point I had to take my dad to the hospital. He had kidney stones, you know, and again, no, nobody, no big deal, no red flag. They kind of set him home, gave him some medicine. Well, it turns out we learned after he passed away that he had the enlarged prostate. And it's kind of like, so my advice for guys is that, hey, you know, if you think that there's something going on, don't even ignore it. Just address it. It's not a big deal. And for me, you know, I ignored it. And I, you know, I got to the, I was lucky I found you as a doctor because you were the only one that knew what was going on. Everybody else kind of was just kind of like, didn't kind kind of grasp it, didn't see all the pieces. And so from that standpoint, is there anything else you want to share with, uh, with our viewers today, sir? Oh yeah. Just, you know, my thing is, is. Right, we talk, we talk, we talk about this. I know the resume procedure, everybody kind of like, oh my gosh, it's going to be scary to get done. It's not. And don't Google it. Don't look at the negativity part of it. There's people out there that are going to do nothing but talk negative about it. I mean, yes, there are sometimes it doesn't work, but there's more successes and failures. And for you to not take the chance to get this done and get better because you read one bad review that happened to one person is not right. You know, stuck it up. Put your egos aside, address this problem when it happens, because it's not going away. It's it's science that they're proving that this is going to happen to us. And the faster we address it, the more we address it, the better we're going to be, because this is no longer something we need to hide. You know, there's nothing to be embarrassed about this, guys. We're going to go through this. It's only a matter of time. And the more you hide it, the worse it's going to be. I should know I wore a catheter for 28 days because I waited so long to get this done. Don't be like me. I mean, I should be the example for you guys to get this done right away because you can get better. 
I'm back. I'm back to doing everything I was able to do before, you know, and I, every day I thank the Lord that I actually found you, Dr. Wong, because I'm telling you what, you got me through everything and I will never forget it. Oh, well, thank you so much. My, that, that, that brings a joy to me. You know, ultimately that's what we all, all of us surgeons, all of us doctors, physicians get into the, the business for is to help patients. And, uh, you know, that, that, that keeps us going for sure. Uh, I see you got your Super Bowl hat on. Do you have any predictions of the final score for this weekend's game? Nope. I'm not jinxing it. I'm just going to say I hopefully <laughs> Champa wins, but I'm not going to do anything else but that. No? No. Nope, no, no. Nope. I'm not going to curse my team. I'm bad luck if I, if I, if I call out a score or I say what's going to happen with bad luck. I just hope Champa wins. <laughs> Who's your favorite player on the Bucks? Well, I kind of, it's not just one player, it's the whole team. Yeah. And I've kind of seen where they've gone with one player that kind of was wrapped up in himself to watching uh, somebody come in and it's got the whole team playing together. So it's nice to see because every single player has a role on that team and they're all doing it. And that's what's making them successful. It takes more than one player to make to make a team go. Right. It's that quote, the, the teamwork makes the dream work, right? Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Any final gonna... comments for our viewers, sir? Uh, I just, again, I just want to thank you for everything you do. And I think if, if this really, Pete, guys, we really need to get this addressed and take care of this. This is this is not this is our health. You know, you ignore it, things are going to suffer. Whether it's family, it's your your personal life, your professional life, just get it fixed. It's one little thing. It doesn't it doesn't take much. And you know, we're men. We are we're taught to be invincible. We're not. And all I can say is just the faster you address it, the quicker you get it addressed, the better you're going to be, and the better your life will be. And I think that's certainly important for our viewers to hear. You know, the reality is, is us men, we don't tend to seek out uh, care. We don't tend to go to the doctor very much. Certainly, th we can help you if we know and if you come and show up. And so there's certainly many options along the continuum to help to help folks with any variety of different problems, whether it's enlarged prostate, BPH, urination symptoms, whether it's erectile dysfunction, whether it's, you know, prostate cancer issues, any of these types of things can be can be helped and treated. If you show up and if you talk to us about it, it's when we delay them and, and you know, just kind of let things go that, that that's when the real problems come about. Yeah. Anyways, thanks again, everybody, for watching. This is Dr. Jared J. Wallen, MD, board certified urologic surgeon and men's sexual health specialist. Uh, you and we, urologic surgery and wellness, sunny Sarasota, Florida, talking about the resume system. You can see uh, actually our uh, website and phone number there. If you if you need help, we're certainly happy to help you. And check us out, uh, check out the videos on our website and ask any questions that you can. Drop a comment, drop a like, subscribe to the channel if, you, if you're enjoying the content, share it with your family or friends. I'm all about providing value to everybody I possibly can. Thanks so much and have a great night. Thank you guys.